In order to be creative, a faculty of mind that we need to cultivate is cognitive flexibility. It's our ability to shift perspective. It's our ability to access multiple meanings. Um, it's our ability to not get stuck on a singular perspective or point of view. So let's take a look at a few images that are often used in psychology classes to demonstrate the fact that there's always more than one way to perceive what's in front of us. Here is a famous example. What's the first thing you see? Whatever the first thing you see is, that's your dominant perception, or dominant perspective of what's in front of you. And you can exercise cognitive flexibility by trying to perceive what's in front of you in a new way. So maybe a few of you see uh, a vase or some sort of candle holder. Can you shift your perspective to maybe see two silhouettes of faces that are facing each other? Take a second. If you can see both, you're exercising your ability to be cognitively flexible. Here's another image, a famous image of one of two things for most of us. Do you see the duck? If you see the duck, you see a beak uh, pointing to the or facing the left of your screen, and you see um, uh, the duck's head and neck. Can you see a bunny rabbit? If you see a bunny rabbit, then the bunny rabbit's mouth is facing the right of your screen with its ears pointed behind it to your left. Take a second if you have difficulty seeing either. If you can switch between both perspectives, you are exercising cognitive flexibility. Let's take a look at this image. For most of us, we see a silhouette, a white silhouette of a face. Maybe there's glasses, a nose, and a mouth. But can you see something else? Can you interpret what's in front of you in a new way? Take a second. Can you see the word liar written in cursive diagonally on your screen? Now, if you can see both now, if you can see both the word liar and the face and you can switch back and forth, you are exhibiting cognitive flexibility. So why is this important for creativity? Well, when you're trying to be creative, we're trying to access alternative perspectives, alternative points of view, alternative ideas. And so often our brain wants to feel that it's right, that it has it, that it understands what's in front of it. It's a survival mechanism. We want to know now what reality is. And unfortunately, this causes a lot of frustration because we can get to arguments. And this causes a lot of difficulty for us when we're trying to think of new ideas and new ways of approaching things in our lives. What we need to develop is cognitive flexibility.